Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy Wednesday, how's your day been? Tell me down in the comments. So in this video, let's go over the latest news. Surrounding your third stimulus check, a fourth stimulus payment of $1,000 per month, and of course your social security benefits. By the way folks, what do you think about Bernie Sanders and his work on a $200 monthly increase in your social security benefits? Do you support him or do you not support him? If you want, feel free to leave a comment down below because folks, Bernie Sanders is one of the top Democrats in Congress pushing for a $200 monthly increase in your social security benefits. So let's see what he has to say. The issue that I'd like to touch upon today is social security, perhaps the most important federal program in existence, a program of enormous consequence to the 59 million seniors, people with disabilities, and children who are 5,000, a couple under 150,000, and $500 for each of their children. So a family of four uh, would get uh, $3,400, which is not in insignificant uh, in this moment. Now everybody, Joe Biden is getting pressured by many lawmakers to include a fourth round of stimulus checks into his new infrastructure bill. But there's also many people that are opposing Joe Biden's infrastructure bill. What do you think everybody? Should there be a fourth stimulus check? And before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. So if you guys are still missing a $400 stimulus payment, Please note that the IRS is still distributing the third round of stimulus. I know many of you are still missing your stimulus money, but unfortunately the IRS has not explained why millions of Americans still have not gotten a $400 check. But everybody tell me down in the comments, what is the IRS Get My Payment tool currently showing for you? I know that many of you guys are saying that the Get My Payment tool is not even showing a payment date at all and that there is no paying deposit in your bank account. And that is just really frustrating. But the good news is this. According to CNBC, if you see a payment status not available, it means that the IRS has not processed your payment yet. So you will get a stimulus check in a future wave of payments. The IRS has stated that they will send out stimulus checks on a weekly basis until all eligible Americans have received a third stimulus payment. Now if you do see a payment status not available, it could also mean that the IRS has not yet determined your eligibility or that you're not eligible at all. So please make sure everybody that the IRS has the correct mailing or banking information on file. The whole goal of this channel is to provide you with the most up to date and reliable stimulus check news. I want to see every member of my community receive a $1400 stimulus check. Now everybody, if the IRS get my payment tool is saying that it needs more information, it can mean one of the two things. Either the IRS does not have your account information and your payment hasn't been processed yet, or the USPS was unable to deliver your payment to your address and then it was returned to the IRS. Remember folks, the stimulus checks can come in three different ways, such as through a debit card, paper check, or direct deposit. But everybody, a fourth round of stimulus checks is still definitely needed. President Joe Biden is being urged to include more direct aid for Americans in the next infrastructure plan. And there are many arguments for a fourth round of stimulus. About 20 Democratic senators, including Ron Wyden and Elizabeth Warren, have sent a letter to Joe Biden calling on him to add recurring relief payments in his Build Back Better plan. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics found that the first round of stimulus checks were largely spent on essentials, though some people saved or invested money, or used it for other spending. Now folks, let's go over Mitt Romney's plan for Social Security benefits. Despite Social Security's role in providing seniors with baseline financial security, the Trust Act does now require its users, its rescue committees, to consider the adequacy of current benefits or the human impact of potential cuts. Retirees would then be relegated to the status of figures on a balance sheet. And this is not an acceptable outcome for our parents, grandparents, and friends, or anybody that depends on monthly social security checks. Now, it is very much possible for Joe Biden to include a fourth round of stimulus checks into his new infrastructure plan. Family, to say to them, thank you, God bless you, for your grace and your dignity, for the model that you are, for appealing for justice in the most dignified way. They are in search of justice then, uh, and now, now they see this giant step. But as our colleagues have said, it's not over. They complimented the Congressional Black Caucus for its role that it has played in all of this. They're eager to see Karen Bass's uh, George Floyd Justice and Policing Act passed and, and signed by the President into law. All of them well, Polonis has you know, become a star. Uh, uh, Rodney and Terrence, his, the brothers, Bridget, his, his, their sister. 
uh, we all know Keta, who's the force of nature within the family, but Gianna, the little, his daughter, Gianna to see this justice on behalf of her father. His name synonymous with justice and dignity and grace and prayerfulness and prayerfulness. So we thank God. We thank Jesus. Because we were praying to him all along. Right, Donna? We thank God. They are people of faith. They conveyed that to me on the phone, but they've conveyed it all along. So as uh, the eight weeks, and according to what the judge said on this, before we know the sentencing, but that's part of the justice of it all as well. Mr. Kyburn has been a solid study, steady force for all of us here because this, is very, this was a, a traumatic. My little granddaughter, who just turned 12, she said, why is it taking so long? It didn't take that long, but we all saw it on TV. We saw it happen. And thank God, the jury validated what we saw, what we saw. So again, thank you, George Floyd, for sacrificing your life for justice for being there to call out to your mom. How, how heartbreaking was that? Call out for your mom. I can't breathe. But because of you and because of thousands, millions of people around the world who came out for justice, your name will always be synonymous with justice. And now we have to make sure justice prevails in the sentencing. But that's, you know, that's, a, that's its own procedure. Our responsibility is to make sure that Karen Bass, who has been so open to justice with the bill that she, she put together, she wrote, and now trying to uh, find uh, areas of agreement in the Senate. Because unless we can change the law, this will be an episode. If we change the law, we're going down a different path altogether. So thank you, Madam Chair Beatty, for your great leadership in all of this, for being a steady voice to keeping some of us who just were calling constantly and didn't hear anything or whatever uh, in, in a place uh, where we could follow the lead of the family. Grace, dignity, prayerfulness, but having a rage for justice, which is what we all have. With that, I yield back to the... Thank you for watching everybody, I truly appreciate everyone's amazing support. Until next time, have a great day and stay safe.